Here's some video of uh, some damage down in Venice, staying in Venice, of the Pelican Alley boat storage. A lot of po folks, of course, got their boats off the water, put them in dry storage, and, uh, and, and unfortunately, that facility uh, has its sides and its roof ripped off there. Uh, hopefully, some of those boats made it okay. Uh, we have seen damage like this before in some of those dry, dry dock, you know, boat storage areas before uh, in some of these coastal towns. Paso Grill, I remember several years ago, having similar damage at a boat storage area as well. Yeah, more video for you this morning, too, about flooding, which we are, of course, are watching closely this morning. Again, sunrise is just before 730 this morning. We'll take a look at this out of Venice this morning, expecting that storm surge in the area there, too. And the wind oh gusts, that's a big part of this story, just the power of is. Milton as it came on yep. shore. And we keep talking about it. I'm sure if you were hunkered down uh, in the Tampa Bay area, you certainly heard the power of this storm on your roofs. Yep. And outside your windows, I was saying it felt like I was in a car wash, I mean, the, the mm -hmm. laundry machine. It felt like you're just yeah. being rocked Absolutely. by the storm and obviously rocked by the waters as well. I know. And obviously this shook a lot of people. And you could see in one of those, in some of that video there from the flooding in Venice, uh, some of the roofs on the mobile homes were starting to peel back. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why, even if you're not in an evacuation zone, they tell you, get out if you're in a mobile home, get out if you're in an RV, because they know that those structures are not as sturdy as perhaps another structure. And that's right. why they tell you to get out even if you're in zone C, 